Hi guys, it's Dan here, and today I'm going to show you a very effective way to carry out blog commenting. It's a really quick and simple method that guarantees excellent link building prospects while saving loads of time in the process. So just as a quick overview of what we're going to be going through in this video, uh, first we're going to be saving a bookmark it to the uh, toolbar, and that allows us to pull URLs from a Google search and then save them as a plain text file. Uh, this will come in handy later on in the video, but just to let you know that's the first thing I'm going to be doing. Uh, after that we're going to be entering our uh, search string into Google, uh, which is going to be our custom search string for our niche. Uh, and then we're going to be uh, actually editing and saving our settings to tailor to that exact search result that we want. Uh, followed by that, we're going to be getting the URL list from the bookmark that we saved, and then after that, finally saving our URL list into a spreadsheet file. First step, we're just going to be saving the bookmark itself to the toolbar. So all you need to do for this is go to this site here, which is www.onlinesales.co.uk slash SEO slash bookmarklet slash serps.php. And once you're there, you've got this little green tab here. All you need to do is just drag it over to bookmark like this and it will just sit in the toolbar like that. So it's just there now and if I click through, I'll show you what the site actually is. So basically what it is, is um, if you search in Google for a search term, you can then put them all in here and it just all appears in text forms. You can then obviously put it to uh, Excel documents, etc. to analyze the uh, URLs um, as you will. So it's just an easier way really of um, uploading uh, URLs into bulk when you're doing blog commenting. Right, so this next step for the video is going to be entering in our search string into Google for your niche. Uh, so for those of you who are unfamiliar, a search string is basically just a series of words you enter into Google to uh, basically get results tailored to whatever you want. So whether you want uh, a certain kind of comment with a certain kind of niche or a certain kind of website with a comment, etc. You just enter it into a search string and then it'll appear with those results on the Google search. So for my example on here, I'm going to do a quotation mark and then enter in football and then close it. And then my other one is going to be... Uh, comment love. So what this will do will pull anything that mentions football as well as anything that mentions comment love So it should have a comment love section at the bottom that we can comment on uh, This is good for obviously blog commenting uh, news articles, etc. And then I'm just gonna hit search um, So it's not just as easy as that obviously as you can see you got the results up here But the ones the things you want to do now to tailor your results perfectly is just to go into search tools here Go into any time and then do past month So this is really important when you're doing blog commenting as a lot of blogs uh, tend to disable their comments after a month or two so obviously if you've got them in within the first month, then um, you can obviously comment on them and know that your comments are going to stick. As well as that, you've got a likelihood um, of the fact that you probably won't find a lot of comments on these blogs as they're quite new. Whereas if you left it at any time, you might find ones at two years old that have loads of obviously comments on them and then your links get um, diluted um, throughout there when you put the links on. So that's really important to do is to go into search tools and do past month. So the other thing you need to do once you've done search tools and set it to past month is just to go to this little cog here on the top right. Click on that and then click search settings. Uh, so once you're there, you need to just go down and uh, tick this never show instant results box and then move the results per page from 10 to 100 and then press save. Oop, that's 240, there you go, 200. I don't know why it's not saying, there we go. 200 and then press save. So what that will do is basically, as you can see here, when the search result is in Google, as I scroll down, you get 100 results as opposed to 10. It just means that when you put it into your um, bookmark tool that we added in just a second ago, it actually adds all them in as opposed to 10. So it just saves you a bit more time uh, on that. So once that's all done and you've got your list of 100 URLs as so, uh, this is where your bookmark comes in. Uh, so obviously when you're on this page and all the URLs are shown, you just need to go up to the bookmark tab and just click on your SERPs Redux. Uh, well, I can call that whatever you want, but I just tend to keep it called that, and that should take you through to this page. Uh, as you can see, here's a big list of all of the URLs from that page itself, uh, but it also puts it into plain listing here, which is basically just plain text. Uh, so if you want to open that up, uh, it might be a bit easier to do. Uh, so, uh, and then what you want to do is just basically copy all of these URLs. Uh, so you need to be going down. Be careful at the bottom because it's that JavaScript one you don't want to be using because that's obviously not a URL. So just stop it there as it's the bottom. Uh, press copy and then I'll take you through to the next step. So once all these URLs are copied, you actually have uh, two options really. Uh, one of your options is to put them through a big uh, bulk backlink checker. So obviously you'd be having a look at the page authority, domain authority, what backlinks are going to that site, whether it's authoritative, the trust flow, all that kind of stuff. Just checking really whether the site's worth commenting on and making sure it's authoritative and you're actually getting uh, it's worthwhile you commenting on that site so that's one of your options and if you're not too fussy about that and you're just doing it to do bulk uh, you know blog commenting and that kind of thing uh, your options are then to obviously paste all these uh, urls into a spreadsheet where you can obviously organize them and going through them commenting and obviously when you do comment on them you can then go back into the spreadsheet to uh, just write a note to say we commented on this we did it on this site that site etc kind of just organizing it to how uh, you want to but other than that really that's kind of the process is obviously uh, going through, doing your search, obviously firstly downloading the um, the uh, bookmark, but then obviously doing your Google search, specifying how you want it to be done, setting it to past month, and obviously doing 100 searches, uh, putting all the URLs through here, and then after that it's kind of up to you whether you want to uh, do a backlink check on them or just go straight into the blog commenting through a spreadsheet. So it's all up to you really from, that, uh, from there onwards, but uh, that's about it. So uh, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in a bit.